G'day folks, Tony again here for more of the many lives of John Rando. We're back in good old Bibipad, dear viewers, and uh, we've just eaten a quick meal and gotten our little buff to our maximum HP. We have a range of quests here for us to do. The Pilgrimage to the Six Day Stilt, that old classic. We've got uh, a couple of recover quests, one of which we don't know the location for. We know that it's in a place called Batara, but we don't know where Batara is. Uh, we can travel to the historical site of Shegawan Consulate, and we can try to recover Matrimon... Uh, oh boy, I've forgotten how to pronounce it. Uh, Matrimonuka Succulents Grant. Uh, that does sound pretty cool. It is apparently at Wandering Void, uh, but we don't know where that is either. So the easiest one there for us to currently complete would be Shegawan Consulate. Uh, we could go to the Grit Gate, but I don't think we're really a high enough level to be able to take advantage of anything that comes thereafter, because I certainly don't want to be going to Golgotha at level 6. Uh, all right. So let's see if we can find... Uh, anywhere nearby that we can go to that is going to be meaningful in any possible way. Uh, Shegawan Consulate, where would that be? Not there. Also not there. That's a long way away. Where else do we have? Oh, please tell me it's not all the way over in the jungle, because we're certainly not doing that at this point in time either. Uh, let's have a look. No, that is the Goat Folk Village, and now that I've done that, I recall that I've already looked at that previously. So, Shegawan Consulate, uh, where is it? Who knows? Uh, perhaps that is also a mystery. Oh, wait a minute. Shegawan Consulate is in the same location as Meshro Rim's ranch. Uh, so that is nice and easy to get to. I guess it got added there uh, after we had already visited that location. So that seems like an easy fix. Let's go there now. Hopefully we'll get XP for it immediately. Yeah, we did it. 250 experience points. Go team! Uh, and that means that we're standing here next to some glow pads and member of the cult of Yalapur the fifth. Uh, isn't that a fun old time? So we still have plenty of carrying capacity. Uh, we've got some reasonably high value uh, but low weight things. We also have all of these cool weapons that we found that we're not really able to use all that much. Uh, at this point in time, and we've pretty much used up all of our skill points. I'm just going to collapse all these down so I can see what's going on. Uh, cool, cool. So, pistol might be handy for us. We have a pistol as well as uh, a bow and a rifle. Uh, they were kind of samey when it comes to, uh, to agility rating, though. So, yeah, we may, uh, we may go with those uh, rifles. But that's going to have to wait until we level up again. Oh, nice. So seeing as we're here, let's have a roam around this particular area. We have some tarnished chrome walls here. Uh, maybe there's something cool around here that we can do something with. These, uh, these glow pads don't seem to like us, so I reckon it's fair game for us to try and take them down. If they're going to attack us anyway, uh, why not lean into... Uh, why not lean into that? Five XP each, that's so worth our time. <laughs> uh, but better that they go rather than hanging about and potentially causing us problems later. So we're going to poke our way through here and see what we can find. Hello. Dilute Salty Glowfish and member of the Cult of Yalapur the Fifth. Uh, you're not currently attacking me. And I like that. So you're just going to cruise around in your little pond there. I'll leave you to it. Ooh, what could be through here? Big old batch and not much. So I'm assuming that we're, uh, that we're patrolling around on dirt ground here at the moment. It kind of looks like an underground area, but it isn't. I see a lot of slime in here. Does that mean there's an amoeba? It does mean there's an amoeba. And we're going to shoot at it with our rifle because that's going to be a much easier kill. 12 experience points, uh, not particularly great. I'm going to take all of these things. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oops. 
Uh, yes, 12 XP, uh, not a lot of, uh, of reward, but those amoeba can certainly hit hard. Uh, and I've done myself a mischief on them a number of times before. Uh, and I'm hoping to avoid that happening this time. Let's see if we can maneuverate. That is an official word, maneuverate around with a fairly minimal amount of fuss. I don't like going through doorways that I can't see through or where, the, sorry, that came out poorly. There's most doorways you can't see through. Uh, I prefer not to go through doorways into large areas uh, if I can find another way. Whoops, that's bad. That's going to end badly. Let's uh, wait and see if they explode in there. And they do. Hopefully that means they're all done. Not quite. But we can wait for this one to roll through and we can close the door again. Oh no, that one opened the door. Ah, what an interesting little trap room that was. A uh, little unconventional, but that's okay. I don't know where those tumbling pots came from. Uh, I could build a little bit of lore in my head as to uh, somebody leaving them there. Perhaps as some form of uh, form of prank uh, and didn't pay off. So there's no other way through here. Let's uh, head on in and have a look. Looks like a kudzu here. There was a kudzu here. And there is no longer, but we have a bunch of different types of plants. We'll go and hit that... Uh, Seed spitter, because that one will die fairly swiftly. Another kudzu, and a prickler as well. So just a range of plants hanging about in here. Uh, iron short sword rusted, that's bad. Is that the one that we're using? It is not. We're using a steel short sword. Uh, so I guess we'll kill these things, because why not? There we are. Was it worth it? Who knows? Uh, what I'm curious about is if there's something through here. A treasure chest would have been nice, but alas, no dice. All right, so we're going to continue picking our way with moderate cautiousness through this area. That honey skunk is fortunately neutral to us. Let's try and keep it that way. We have brackish water, so nothing worth picking up there. It's not like uh, raw money floating on the ground. So maybe there'll be uh, some groovy things here on the surface level. There's a set of stairs downward, but we're not going to head downward until we've explored all of this uh, because downwards uh, usually implies uh, tougher things. And I don't think we're quite prepared for that at this stage. Oh, hello. You're both neutral? Good to know. Uh, welcome to your humble abode. Thank you so much for your time. Can we go downwards? We can. Apparently, it's just open to the rest of the world. Uh, good. All of those critters can stay there where they were. And we'll keep going through these awkward diagonal corridors. More doors. So mysterious. What could it be? A bunch of amoeba and some pots possibly containing honey? Let's have a look. Yes, honey. Isn't that lovely? So let's uh, let's wait and see if these things move towards us. And they do. Um, they're going to end up kind of surrounding us if we let them all out. Is there anything that we can do immediately? I'm uh, going to have to wait for one of them to move in there. Uh, so that's a good start. We've got all of our hit points at the moment. So let's start with a sting. We'll plonk that on there. They're now confused, so that's fun. Uh, there's another one here that we can drop a life drain onto, so we'll do that also. And now everything is covered in blood, but hopefully not us. So we'll keep hitting the confused one, uh, and it's gone. We'll also keep hitting the one that we've life drained, and it's gone too. And the third and final one can move in, and hopefully we'll out uh, hit it, and we have heal themselves back up again and everything is good this tiny little slippery room we're going to grab the honey out of there we'll stick it in an empty container because it would do us no good at all to uh to grab it from the wrong thing or pour it into the wrong thing we don't want the pool of 500 grams of slime but thank you for asking we're not going to take the basket but we will pour out that honey yes thank you we're going to put it into another container yes thank you again and we're going to put it in the one with the rest of the honey funnily enough Good times. All right, so let's try and move our way through the slipperiness. 
We done. All right, no diagonal door through there. We could use our burrowing claws to just dig through stuff. But at this stage, I'm a little hesitant to do that. As I said, I'd much prefer to find the other way around because who knows what we're going to end up uh, digging up if we uh, hastily uh, try and bash our way through things. So you see there's a, the green sort of flashy glow on, uh, on areas that, uh, that I've dug intentionally or otherwise. We have a bunch of segmented earthworms coming in here. These things can be real nasty if they surround you, uh, their average difficulty. So we're going to wait right here in, uh, in this one width corridor, hopefully for them to come towards us. All right, there we go. Come to me. Allow me to smite thee one at a time in this easily controlled environment. Look at those experience points racking up. Uh, cool. Yep. Good times. Keep on bashing away. 70 XP per kill. And as you can see, we've hoed through just a whole bunch of them with relative ease. That's what I like to see. Wow. So we're really closing in there on uh, on our next level. That's uh, that's good to know. Will there be more of them? Of course there will. There's always more of these things. Uh, never enough. Are there more of them down here in this room? Of course there are. So more, more things for us to grab. Apparently our burrowing claws got uh, cracked. Hopefully that'll sort itself out at some point. Um, no, they still look like they're relatively intact to me. And is there anything else here? There is not. I had expected there to be another door through here somewhere. I guess we do have the uh, set of stairs leading downwards. It's possible there'll be something through here. How long is it going to take us to dig through this chrome? Quite a while. So chrome taking a while to dig through. This dirt presumably will be much quicker. Uh, can we find our way through into a room, perhaps some sort of hidden room? I mean, anything's possible. Uh, it's going to be a lot quicker digging through this shale than it will be digging through anything else, but we could just end up chasing our own tail here. Uh, and as you can see, it is hard to tell if there's a room that you're about to open up into or if it's just going to be a change to another type of material. So I think that's probably it for this particular level. We don't have clairvoyance, do we? No, we said we can't try and take a peek into all of the, uh, the solid rock. So I guess we'll work our way over here and we'll head downwards. What could possibly go wrong? He asks prophetically. All right, we are hungry. Probably should have made a camp upstairs, but we're here now and nothing appears to be disturbing us. So that's good to know. Is that a copper nugget? It is. I will happily pick that one up. And there's not even a trap. How about that? Oh, hello. Another neutral glowfish. More of that, I say. Perhaps neutral glowfish that are also carrying real good treasure. So we've got more plants, a bunch of uh, jilted lovers just sort of floating around. We might just avoid them if we can. Not a lot going on here. Can we ease our way through here? Yes, of course. And not a dead end, which I was kind of expecting. Now, are these going to be hostile to us? They are. So the glow pad's already hostile to us for some reason. I just want to poke my head around the corner here so I can see if there's anything worth grabbing. And there isn't. So uh, let's just leave that open so I know I've been here before. Good times. So a range of relatively intact rooms. I didn't actually poke through there to see if there's a way around. I'm assuming that's a dead end down there. Look, why not? We'll just go and have a look. It's only one of them. Of course it's a dead end. Why would it ever be anything else? Because sometimes it is something else. And there's treasure to be had. Like around this corner, the corner of guaranteed treasure. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, look at it. Look at all of it. We're rolling in it. A secret way into a nothing zone. Lovely. Oh, well. We'll never know if we don't look. So we uh, will just keep, we'll just keep looking. What about down through here? Ooh, a way around the door. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh... All right, more things, more spaces. 
an open doorway. That's a little ominous. Another, uh oh, salt hopper. Oh no. I am going to shoot you. And I am going to shoot you again. And by saying it out loud, it makes it cooler. That is the Pokemon way. All right. Nothing there. Some sort of utility closet, perhaps. Maybe a commode. Uh, but not a treasure laden one, and more's the pity. Okay, Salt Hopper clearly uh, moving around through here. Looks like a Gershling we've got here. Average and hostile. We can take care of that. Come on over. Let's dance our merry dance. You can be badly wounded, and I can not be. Ooh, more things. Bring that giant centipede in. They do tend to uh, to be a pretty good value for money. Not quite as good as those uh, segmented birthworms, but we can't have everything. Delicious. Healing on up. 10 hit points is uh, not something. Whoa, we can bat an eyelid at the moment. Okay, so here we have... Lalja, legendary plated Nolworm and leader of the cult of Yalapur the Fifths. Uh, Yalapur the Fifth, sorry. Um, they have thrown a disintegration uh, towards us and it looks like it killed the Jilted Lover, so that's a drag. And we've also lost 10 of our hit points, uh, which is what I like to refer to as not fun. We do, however, have a high explosive grenade and I am considering throwing it at them immediately. So let's do that. Uh, it took 17 damage uh, from the explosion. Oh, no, it took 25, and we took 17. I thought we were going to be out of range, but we were not. So let's move ourselves back just a little bit, uh, and we will make sure that we've reloaded our desert rifle, and we have, so that's good. What else do we have here? Harvest plants. Well, that's not going to help us very much. Uh, Titan carapace certainly will if we need to, if we need to tank up a little bit. But I'd much rather drop that one after a life drain. But we can only cast life drain when we're adjacent. So now that we are, let's uh, throw that down on there. I'm going to move back a little bit. Uh, we might actually try a sprint. So we're going to move away a little. They seem to be uh, fairly quick. So let's keep moving back towards a doorway uh, whence we can escape. And as we've got some more distance there, then we're going to be able to uh, start shooting with this rifle because I'm hoping it does some actual damage. And it seems to be. Perhaps we're also going to have a few. Uh, that's a bad angle. Might need to get to a straighter section. I don't think they're going to stop chasing us. Uh, that doesn't appear to be the case. They're still taking damage from our life drain. So we're going to keep moving slowly. And I guess it died. How anticlimactic, but also kind of badass. We're now level 7. 3 hit points, 82 skill points, 1 mutation point. The Cult of Yalapa V, unsurprisingly, doesn't like us very much. The Farmer's Guild are uh, all down with it. Mechanimus are uh, also not fans. Let's go and see what cool things we've got. A Nolworm corpse. Beautiful. Uh, so worthwhile. But we did, uh, we did level up. So let's have a look and see what the spoils of this are. We are three points short of being able to get bow and rifles. So that's a real drag. And we've only got two of the required four mutation points for the next thing. So really, uh, the summary there is nothing to see here. Groovy. And now we know to uh, be standing a little bit further away <laughs> uh, when we throw grenades. Good to know. All right. What have we missed here? Is there a way through? There's a way through down here. What is that thing? That doesn't look pleasant at all. An aggle maggot. Normally those things are, are stuff that you see in Golgotha. But there's one here right now, so let's get rid of it. And then we'll back away. Uh, and we'll wait and see if that cloud dissipates. It is perhaps dissipating slowly. Oh, hello. A hostile bear has come running uh, through the wood. I almost said woods, not the woods. Uh, through everything, straight towards us. Come a step closer. Uh, hello, goodbye. Wow, so that... Uh, an unexpected bear. That one was. Nothing here. Alright. 
Don't know if we've been through here either. Just to check that there's no gold lying around and there isn't. Okay, cool. So things are going relatively well so far. Trying not to jinx it, but I probably just have. We'll take this cider out of here. We're going, no, that is the wrong thing. Let's try that again. No, uh, pour that cider out. Yes, thank you. We're going to pour it into another container. Yes, thank you. We're going to pour it with the other cider. Good times. There we go. So getting a real collection of fluids happening here. Uh, that sounds a lot grosser than I intended, but it's also accurate. What else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, ooh, more. More fluid. More cider. Oh, here we go again. Yep. Still yep. Can confirm. All right. Lots of diagonal moves to get through to weird places. Uh, them's the breaks, I guess, when you're dealing with uh, strange ruins. Oh, hello. Hopefully this is something we can take care of fairly quickly. Should probably pay attention to where they are. Mmm, yum. Oh, I'm glad we checked around the corner because there's another copper nugget for us. Little dinky treasures just hidden around the sides of things. So these jilted lovers are in our way. They've grabbed us. That's not great. But uh, we're also reasonably resilient by this point, I think. Cool. Which way? This way first. Wow, look at all that stuff. Is that fresh water or is that not fresh water? It is salty water, lots of salty water. And I'm assuming more honey. Yep, 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 good times. Give me that, give me all of it, yes. Oh, the labor we go through to make this happen. Please, if somebody knows a simple way, please tell me. Give me, there, yep, yep, that's it, yep, good times. Better not get cocky and accidentally pour it in the wrong thing. That's going to help nobody. And a pour. Yep. Thank you. That one. Yep. Good stuff. Good. Yep. Hey, we did it. And what's in this thing? A woven basket. Anything in the woven basket? Nope. Glad we had this chat. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? That's a uh, premium, premium uh, YouTube commentary there from me. Uh, so good, in fact, that I'm happy to point it out. So we've got another null worm roaming around here. It's slowly coming in towards us. Hopefully we can take this Gershling down in time. Um, it's probably not worth dumping a sting on at the moment. Indeed, it isn't. But we're going to do that life drain again. It worked rather well against the last null worm. Uh, Ow. And seeing as they're right here, and I... Oh, there's another null worm coming. We're going to drop the sting on there as well. And then we'll just try whacking it. And that worked uh, better than I expected. And we have a desert rifle, so why not? Let's try that too. Good times. Injured, wounded, dead. 175 XP. Rolling in it. Uh, tumbling pod came in and tried to hit us. Are there more of them around, I wonder? Possibly. Let's go and have a look what's in this chest first, because it's, uh... Eh. Open. Ah, oh, here we go. Matrimonuka Succulents Grant. We found it. Thank you so much. And a Cybernetics Credit Wedge. We'll get that as well. Huzzah! I believe that that was one of the things that we had to find. Matrimonuka Succulents Grant. That is a... One of the things here, isn't it? So we found it, and we've recovered it, but it hasn't activated. That seems unusual. Are we supposed to equip it, I wonder? Let's try. Can we? Apparently not. Okay. Interesting. But we do have it. It's an armor of some kind. I guess we have to wear it. Let's try it then. Uh, let's have a look at what it is. Plus two to hit. 400 reputation with succulents. Uh, I don't even know where the, where we're supposed to wear that. Can we equip it? It goes on our head. We put it on our head. And yet, we put it on our face, I'm sorry. And yet, uh, no, no triggering of the quest. Interesting. 
oh, well, uh, we have it now. And it's also, bleh, it's also giving us a benefit of uh, plus two to hit and just a big old bunch of extra rep with succulents. So that's good to know. I mean, I guess for the plus two to hit alone, that's uh, that's worth the price of admission. So we're having uh, we're having a fair bit of uh, fortunate luck here in this area. Nothing on the table. So let's continue poking around the whoops the last remaining sections. I'm just accidentally <laughs> poking holes in walls here. Um, are they still hostile to us? They are. I guess we did kill their leader. Prickler quills, that's manageable. I don't really know if this is going to be worth our time. But I guess we'll find out. Ooh, there is some there are some jars of stuff in here. So let's kill all these pricklers so we can pick up the things from the jars. Come on now. There we go. Healing on up. What are we looking at here? More cider. Good times. And Oops. And more cider. Give me that. Uh, we'll just pick it up, seeing as it's in a bottle that we can pick up easily. Because it's less clicking. Uh, we'll get that one too. Yep. Because it's in a clay pitcher that is also pick up quite easily. All right. Um, well, I'm a little bit bummed that, uh, that we haven't got that quest reward triggering. But... Uh, that's fine. Why did we stop? Oh, a glowfish, of course. So no stairs downwards that I recall. We're not hungry, so let's head back up. Uh, and we'll head back, back up uh, a little bit more. There are hostiles nearby. There are. Okay. Uh, where? I wonder. Can we try again? There we go. We're back up here. So let's head back to... Oh, no! We were going to try heading back to our village. There we go. Regain the bearings. Uh, back to Bibipad we go. And we're hungry, so let's wander on over and grab that bite to eat while I remember. Yummy. There we are. And that is where we're going to leave it for this part of the Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please tell a friend if you think they might enjoy this. And come back again soon for more of the many lives of John Rando. Yeah.